What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video and today I'm bringing you the Hyung Min Son comic book poster design style that I created. So a few different techniques today. There's going to be a bit of halftone textures, uh, probably including a few comic assets that I, I sort of drew up myself and designed. Uh, sorry if I sound a bit funny today, I've got a little bit of a cold, but you know, you know, the grind never stops. We've got to make these videos for you guys, so hopefully you do enjoy this one. Um, going to be, yeah, that's about it really. A few images, we're just going to put them in a template, add the, uh, the textures and the assets over the top, and then use a camera or filter on it. So uh, without further ado, let's get straight into it. So the first things first, you will need to get your texture pack, which is in the link down below. Same as usual, turn this off and uh, you'll be able to see all the images, the uh, assets we've got here and uh, some of the textures and templates we have. First things first, we're going to create a new document uh, called A4. Now when you're doing this, you don't, you can sort of make it to a size that you want. But obviously A4 is pretty easy to print and stuff if you want to print it off yourself. You could do it for Instagram as well. So that's 1080 by 1350 if you were thinking of uploading it to Instagram. But yeah, A4 is pretty standard across uh, the UK. So once you've got your A4 document, you want to go back to your texture pack and go into textures and template. And then we're going to get our shape here. So this should be called template. So let's just bring that across. And now we can uh, sort of position this so it's center in the design now it's going to need to be a little bit smaller than this so that it fits the whole thing a bit like that that's pretty good uh huh maybe a little bit bigger actually let me make this just a bit smaller Let's see what's actually going on here so we're going to have it up in the corner here so we want it fairly big there and then we want to make it big in the bottom as well yeah about there's good you can bring the bottom up a little bit as well that's perfect so you want to make sure that it fits you know equal in, on each side um, otherwise it's going to look a little bit odd. So now that we've got that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and turn the textures and template off for now and go into images. Now we've got the images here, they've already got a little bit of a texture added over the top of them which is something I did to them before. Yeah, you don't need to worry about that. Um, what I am going to do though is I'm going to take one of them, so probably going to be this first one here, um, and this one's going to be the top image. So I'm going to leave it around the top. But first things first, I'm going to go into filter and then actually no, sorry, I'm rushing into it a little bit. Convert this to a smart object. And then what we're going to do is go to filter, camera or filter. And we're just going to tweak this image a little bit just to make it a little bit better. So obviously once the actual final camera or filter is used, you know, we'll have a nicer image. So you can bring bits like texture up a little bit and clarity. Definitely bring saturation up because we want this to look like a really vibrant, you know, comic book feel. So you want a comic book, they're all really popping colors. So that's another thing you want to look out for. So add a little bit of curves adjustment. That's good. There we go. And then a little bit of sharpening and that's good. So I don't think you need to add a vignette. Probably, oh, you could add a little vignette. About minus five, that's good. So if we look at the before and after it, just a little bit sharper and a little bit brighter. So that's good and we can apply this to all of the other images as well so we have a similar effect. What you need to do now is you need to put this below the uh, template and now we're gonna position it where we think it should be. So I've got it on the uh, actual design about here but obviously you don't wanna cut his neck off so you could, it's all right if you lose, if I zoom in a little bit, it's all right if you lose a little bit of the hair at the top here because it doesn't really matter too much but you wanna make sure that you keep most of the uh, his neck in otherwise it'll just look like he's got no let no neck and just won't look right so we'll, we'll do it like that for now and then what we're going to do once that's confirmed we're going to go layer mask and we're just going to get our polygon lasso tool create a selection down here and we're just going to basically paint away at this so we get a hard brush and just basically black color paint away that there we go perfect so that's the first bit done guys so Obviously that's pretty simple. There's nothing too much going on there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the rest of these images now, drag them all across. Okay, got them, perfect. Now we're gonna position them where we think they're meant to be. So let's go by order. So this one's gonna be going underneath template, uh, about there I would have said, looks good. Um, but what we do need to do now 
if you'll notice in the previous design, if I put that up on the screen now, you'll notice that the green, the green in the grass is a little bit more vibrant because I changed it a little bit. So once we do our camera filter, which I'm going to go into now, remember to convert it to a smart object though. So I'm going to apply previous settings and that makes it a little bit vibrant. But what we need to do now is go into color mixer and then make the greens, if I can, if it's going to let me. Make the greens uh, like that. that. There we go. So just tilt these up a little bit more. It makes it a lot more saturated and a bit more, you know, a bit more interesting. Once you've done that, that's good. That would be good. There we go. There you go. It just adds that extra bit of color. So once again, we're going to add a layer mask to this um, and just get rid of the bottom bit so that it doesn't overlap. There we go. Paint that away. That's good. All coming together nicely. So that's really nice saturated. Next image going to be this one with a celebration. All of you should know this. Well, it, if you watch football, all of you should know this. Uh, it's quite a famous, not famous, but it's uh, one of his known celebrations, shall we say. So let's do it like this. Boost that up a little bit. I'm going to have it about there, I think. Um, and then we're just going to make a selection around here. So down here. Then Command Shift I. No, nope. <laughs> we want to make a layer mask and invert that. There we go. So that's nice. That's all in there. Now the last image, which is going to be this one. Oh, I didn't add the camera or filter effect to this, did I? Let's convert this to a smart object quickly. Go to filter, camera or filter, and apply previous settings. There we go. That's good. Click OK. Nice. Nice more. A bit more vibrant, a bit more interesting to look at. And now we're going to do the same again with the last one. So let's get him here. Go camera or filter. Apply previous settings. Nice. Brings out the background a little bit more and the color in the back. That's good. And we're just going to layer mask this one out as well now. So that should be it for the layer masking out bit. So as you can see, guys, pretty simple technique, but it's enough to make a nice design. So already that looks nice, but obviously there's more that we can add to this. Um, so I'm going to go to get the assets now for the comic assets. So let's go get those. Right. So you got your assets. They're going to be in stars and rockets. I know pretty funny name, but you know, it's all in here. You can take little bits for yourself. So I'm going to take the rocket. I'm going to take a set of stars uh, like that. If I've got them, are they selected? Yep. And I'm going to take a cloud and a bomb. So let's take all these. Now they're all going to be in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to group my images like this. Let's call these images. And now what you're going to need to do is get the template to be at the top. So you want all of these to be below. So you're going to have them like this in the corners. You're going to have the bomb over here maybe. But make sure it's just above the line in some of them because you don't want um, you don't want bits of it like hanging over each other. So just make sure you've got that right. The rocket I'm going to have here coming out of the cloud, I think. Move it below the cloud. Now you can add a layer mask to these so you can just sort of paint away bits. So let's do that now. Okay, that's good. Got our bomb. Maybe put that in the corner a little bit more. So you can add a few of these. So, so obviously you can make smaller, uh, scale them up and down. Just play with them. Make them how you want them. Nothing too serious. And then we're going to add another rocket down here. So I'm going to flip this horizontally. Make it a little bit smaller. Make the angle a little bit different. That's nice. Now the rocket adds just a nice little bit of color really. So obviously you don't have to use the rocket. You can use any of the assets you want really. Um, but try and fill it up as much as you can with different assets. Because basically comic books are quite overloaded with color. So having a lot of different assets gives you, you know, that effect, basically. Um, so if you can layer them up together, it just, you know, it adds a nice little extra element to the design. So adding like a bomb behind the cloud, just, it's just nice little things like that. So let's make a cloud here. Turn him a little bit. There he goes. Nice little cloud. Duplicate that. One can go up here. There we go. That's nice. So I think we've got about, probably about enough there. Make sure you got enough of the stars as well, because the stars are a nice little bit to add into the design as well. Um, just make sure you got enough on either side. So like that, that's good. There we go. Let's maybe add a cloud down here as well. Over here, maybe one down in the middle. Make him a little bit smaller, like that, that's good. Nice. Okay guys, so it's all sort of coming together here a little bit. Now we've got all the little assets. Now you can group all these together, just so you don't obviously get confused of what's going on in your design uh, comic assets that's good so we've got all our assets there um, the next thing we're going to add is some um, text so let's go to our text tool 
here we're going to have two different fonts. One's going to be called After Smile, and the other one's going to be called Balagan Black. So, so basically, you're going to have to download these fonts. Um, otherwise, you're just not going to be able to create the same design. I will try and find a link in the description below. But if I can't find one, you're just going to have to look for them yourself. If not, just use a completely different font. Um, you will still get the same effect. Just it will look a little bit different. So as you can see here, I've got three different bits of type. So I've got Hyung Min Son. I'm going to change the Min to a Balagan Black. Make this nice and big. There we go. And now we're going to move this one above and this one below like that. Let's create the distance between the three equal. Got a nice little bit of text down there. That's nice. Um, and now we're going to add some texture. So let's go to our texture pack. Close up the rockets and stars, texture and template. Now you want this texture 20 first. So let's drag and drop this one across. Now what this one does is it basically gives it a rough paper texture. So it makes it look a little bit more vintage like an old comic book would look. Um, and adding it to soft light and 40% opacity really does help that. So if I boost this to 100, you see it, it's a bit too much. But if I remove it down to about 40%, it just adds a nice little effect. Uh, next we're going to get the logo. So you want the color overlay logo. You can choose where you put this. In the previous design, I had it about here um, because I felt that it just looked best there. Up to you completely where you want to put it. And then I'm going to have a paper texture over the top as well. Uh, just for some creases and stuff because obviously in old comic books you would have creases because they were obviously used by kids. And kids do not look after anything, um, as you all will know. So let's turn that on and off. Okay, adds a nice little bit of depth, but it, you know, it gives you enough. Now let's group that together texture and then let's group the text together guys i you know and if you go back and watch my previous videos you'll realize that i do not group a lot of things together and name them but recently i've been trying to clean up my workspace a little bit because it makes it easier to work with so i do recommend you get in a habit of doing that so you know it just be easier for you so now that we've got all that got all our assets pretty much the poster is done but we are going to add a color lookup so what you need to do right is go command option shift e Make a screenshot and then you can convert this to a smart object. Now what you need to do is go to your adjustment layers and then go down to color lookup, which is down here. Click that one, clip and mask it to the screenshot. And then you need to go across here where it says load 3D LUT. So click that or actually no undo. Just go to uh, just click on that, open it up and then you see all these down here. So you should have all these different, you know, edgy amber, drop blues, crisp winter and all this stuff. So this will boost the colors. So this will help um, correcting all the colors before you put it into camera or filter, which I do recommend you do. So if you go crisp and warm, obviously that looks very warm now, but obviously we can reduce this down to about 20%. I, I suggest putting all of them on 20% once you do them. Now Command J to duplicate this, increase it back to 100% so you can see what you're doing. And then we go for edgy amber. Mm, don't really like that one uh, full colors that's quite nice so we can reduce this down to about 20 percent and then do the same again duplicate this clip and mask it let's have a look at what others we can put on here late sunset maybe oh uh interesting but no moonlight definitely not soft warming yeah yeah we're gonna leave that one on there 20 percent and then we'll do one more which is going to be like this teal orange i haven't seen this one well that's quite nice actually yeah let's do that one just that's 20 percent and now if we turn all these off you can see the difference they made it just corrects all the brings all the colors together a little bit more so we've got that now we're going to make another screenshot command shift option e and then convert to a smart object and now we're going to go into camera or filter so as you can see guys it's a pretty simple process you know there's nothing too serious about this it's a, a, a quite a fun design really um, it's just putting assets together and you know playing around with images but yeah just have a play with it so i'm going to boost the exposure on this one to about 40. contrast i'm going to bring up to about 40. maybe decrease the exposure to 30. decrease the highlights increase the shadows like that texture you can bring up a little bit more clarity up a little bit more not too much though dehaze maybe a little bit and then we bring the saturation up and the vibrance up there we go that's already looking quite nice then we'll add a simple curves layer yeah that's good and then we'll add some sharpening so bring the sharpening up now you can reduce the noise a little bit if you want but obviously this whole post design is very noisy so you won't need to do too much change the greens again 
There we go. Maybe boost the orange a little bit. But that looks really nice, guys. So color grading, you don't really need to touch that because there's no sort of glow or anything on this design. Uh, grain, you can add a normal grain. So about 20 grain. And a nice little vignette in the corners. Uh, that brings out the nice little heading we got down there. So that's pretty much it, guys. That's, that's really nice. Don't really need to touch these. I think we've sort of done it all. So if I have a look at the before and after there, that's really nice. So as you can see, once you use the camera for it, it brings the texture out way more. So you don't really need to worry about the texture too much. Um, and all the little assets, they look really nice as well. So if I click OK on that, guys, you'll see that it's uh, quite a nice little, quite a nice little design. So something I did differently on this design when I was doing it, I didn't use the camera or filter effect on the images before I, uh, you know, before the end. So I've doubled it up here. So I've used it twice on the images and then once at the end. So this for me has given me a better result. So I do recommend you do this. Just follow along with the tutorial. Hopefully you have enjoyed the video. Obviously, if you have subscribe and hit that like button, it really helps out the channel. I do appreciate all the support guys. I really do. Um, hopefully you are learning from these videos. I mean, I get a load of comments from people obviously um, saying that they're learning from it. I really do appreciate that. And I hope, you know, I hope you can keep learning um, because that's what the videos are for. And I really do enjoy making them for you guys. So hopefully you have enjoyed the video. If you have, let me know in the comments down below. And yeah, hopefully next week we'll be back with another Instagram redesign. If not, it may be a little bit more of a find a font video, you know, like find fonts or images or something like that. But hopefully you guys are looking forward to that. So let me know in the comments what you think. And uh, yeah, have a good week and I'll see you next weekend.